Hello guys, welcome back. As you know, uh, in my previous video, I have already shown you the phases of compiler, right? Uh, the phases that you are able to see here, we have already discussed it. If you have not seen that video yet, you can go and visit that video. In that video, we have clearly, uh, we have seen in detail that what are all the phases of the compiler about, what they are doing, what are the tasks of each, com uh, each phases, right? We have already seen those things. Lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization and target code generation. These are the six main phases of any compiler. Alright, we have seen in detail what all the phases are doing. Now, I have also told you that we are having something called symbol table manager and error handler. These two are connected with all the phases of compiler. Now, in that uh, particular video we have not seen in detail about these two so it is the time that now we will see what these two are in detail so in this particular video we will see about symbol table manager that what symbol table manager actually is and why it is useful to be connected with all the phases of compiler so let's see what is symbol table manager symbol table manager is actually what it is actually a data structure created and maintained by compilers for storing information regarding variable names, function names, objects, etc. Okay, here what I have done is I have noted the main main points of symbol table. Actually, uh, in the com in the competitive exams like uh, GATE or any such PSU exams, it is possible that uh, sim there is one mark or two mark question about symbol table but mostly the question asked in the symbol table is theoretical right we are not having any proof or any numericals related to symbol table but we are having um, theory questions right so here i have gathered some main important points about symbol table that you must be knowing so that if asked about what is symbol table or any particular question about symbol table you will be easily able to answer right so what symbol table is it is actually a data structure right it is actually a data structure that is created as well as maintained by the compilers only and what are the different information that are stored in this symbol table variable names function names objects etc these information regarding the code are stored in symbol table so you can say that it is a data structure that is storing the information that will be used by compilers later on means that information is filled by compiler only and it may be used in future by the compiler itself so it is a data structure that the compiler maintains for its own benefits fine all these informations informations like variable names function names objects etc that are collected by these informations are collected by the analysis phase and used by the synthesis phase of the compiler for generating code now as I told that these information are inserted by the symbol table only and they are used by the uh, inserted by the compilers only and used by compilers itself. Now but if we specific, uh, specifically distinguish it then the informations are written or collected by the analysis phase of the compiler. Now what do you mean by the analysis phase of the compiler? these three phases as we have seen there are mainly six phases of compiler among the six phases the first three phase that is lexical analysis phase syntax analysis and semantic analysis phase three these three phases are particularly known as the analysis phase of compiler right so all the informations in the symbol table are collected by the analysis phase means by these three phases of the compiler and these information right the information that are stored these information are used by they are collected by the analysis phase and they are used by the synthesis phase of the compiler what are the synthesis phase the remaining three phases that is intermediate code generator code optimization and target code generation uh, these three phases are the synthesis phases of the compiler these phases are using the information that are stored in the symbol table you got the difference the first three phases will insert the data or the information into the symbol table and the later three phases will use that inserted information from the symbol table for generating the ultimate target code that we want fine so this is the main uh, concept of symbol table why it is there why it is useful and now we have already seen 
um, that what these three phases will do and what three phase these three phases will do this may also be asked so you should also know this that these three phases are the analysis phase and de these three phases are synthesis phase now we have already seen now what each the phases each of the phases will do with the symbol table let's see that also once so first of all we are having lexical analysis phase what the lexical analysis phase will do it will create new entry for new identifiers as we know that symbol table is all about inserting variable names function names and objects so what lexical analysis will do whenever it is getting any new identifier for every such new identifier it will create new entry in the symbol table fine this is lexical analysis then syntax analysis what syntax analysis will do it will add attribute information such as type dimension scope etc right different informations like type dimension scope etc will be inserted by syntax analysis first of all lexical analysis will create the entry and these informations in the entry will be inserted by syntax analysis then we are having semantic analysis as we know the regular task of semantic analysis is to check whatever the data is inserted by the syntax analysis to check if it is semantically verified or not semantically correct or not if not it will update the information and make it semantically correct so it will do the same here it will just check these informations that are inserted by syntax analysis and if they are semantically not correct if update is needed then it will update that thing and make it semantically correct fine okay so these are the three things then comes intermediate code generator what it will do is as per the already available information it will add temporary variable information as we have already seen these three will create something or add something in the symbol table but these three phases that is synthesis phase intermediate code generator code optimization and target code generator these three phases will do what these three phases these three phases that is synth synthesis phase they will only use the information that is already present in the symbol table right so intermediate code generator what will it will do as per the already available information in the symbol table it will just add temporary variables information okay then comes code optimization what it will do again as per the already available information means the information that is already available in symbol table it will first read that information and based on that it will do this code optimization it will do machine dependent optimization uh, it will do machine dependent optimization as per the address and alias variables information now one more thing see this what is very important here that machine dependent optimization uh, i would like to add one thing here that you should know that lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis up to intermediate code generator up to here it is known as the front end up to here intermediate code generator up to here it is known as the front end of the compiler and the last two that is code optimization and target code generate generation they are known as back end of the compiler now why it is so as we know front end front end means what this will not be machine dependent these four uh, phases whatever work they will do that will not be machine dependent but these two code optimization and target code generator they will generate the code as per the particular machine code optim that's why it is written here uh, this code optimization will do machine dependent optimization similarly target code generator will also do what it will generate target code as per the identifiers address information that are already present so it will generate the target code but you have to remember this thing that code optimization will optimize the code and target code generator will generate the target code but both will do this machine dependently means it will work for a particular machine for which it is working but these four whatever work they will be doing they will be doing it independently means uh, what do i mean by machine dependent or independent for example uh, i have a new machine 
right we have a new machine we want to make a compiler for it so what you can do is you can take this first four phases directly from any other compiler you can directly take it but these two you have to make as per that particular machine you are getting it these four phases are something that will work on every machine i can directly take these four phases it i can uh make them work in machine a i can make them work in machine b like these four phases i can directly take and i can make it for work i can make it work for any machine that i want but these two phases they are working machine dependently means whatever machine i want to act on i have to make code optimization phase and target code generation phase particularly for that particular machine fine so this is also one of the main important points that you should be knowing that first four are known as that's why this is the reason and for this reason the first four phases are known as the front end of the compiler and the last two phases are known as back end of the compiler fine so i hope you have understood these are the main points that what is symbol table as i have explained here then what are the what is the usage of the symbol table by each phase and now the last thing you should be knowing is entry how the symbol table entry looks like so here i have made for you symbol table entry so entry what happens these are the main data types that should be there in the compiler what are they name type size dimension line of declaration line of usage and address this is line of declaration this is line of usage and address so you should be knowing that these are the seven important attributes of symbol table right so this you can consider that this is a symbol table these are the main seven attributes present in the symbol table and these are i have just shown the example of entries that in this way the entries are will be there so what all the entries is first of all name name means what it will be the name of the variable for example i am having a variable its name the name of the variable is taj it is of type character you can say character array or whatever right i have taken a character array for this name variable name taj size what is the size of that variable for example this is my character array so the size will be 1 2 3 so here i can write the size of my this variables character array is 3 dimension uh, you can write as per your uh, variable for example for my variable it is single dimension one dimension array so i will write one the line of declaration means the line of code where your this variable is declared so you have to write that uh, line number here that is line of declaration of this variable then i am having line of usage means the line where this variable has been particularly used so here we will be writing the line number of usage of this particular variable then address what is the base address of this variable so these are the specifications of the particular variable or identifier that we will be mentioning in the symbol table so that whenever in the future we want it as we have seen here in different phases whenever we want to have any particular information about any particular variable object or uh, identifier we can get that particular thing from the symbol table and then this um, the different phases of compiler can verify that thing from the symbol table and they can work accordingly whatever they want to do fine so these are some of the basic informations of symbol table that you must be knowing and as i told that uh, symbol table is actually this is a theory concept that these are the things that you should be knowing it may be asked in one mark question two mark question or it is always good to have information fine so i hope you have understood what symbol table actually is and why it is needed thank you so much